So in this video, I want to talk about the park out. And the park out is basically a stretching position for your horse. Yes, it is a trick, but you can best see it as a um, gym exercise because you are literally stretching your horse. And this is a great exercise if done correctly that you can ask before riding or just for fun or to literally be able to stretch your horse in a way that you wouldn't be able to do whilst riding. Through the park out, you can do different exercises such as the compliment, the bow, the classical bow, and it helps your horse to have more space between the front and back legs. So it will be easier for your horse to do this kind of movement. Because when we ask our horse to do a bow, what we want is to have them shift all the weight on the back, like on their hind legs. And when your horse is standing like your horse would regularly, it's way more difficult for your horse because there's just way less space. And what you can get is these Michael Jackson legs where the front legs bend through and you, in my opinion, the best classical bow is a bow where the front legs are as straight as you can have them. So the hind legs will carry the horse and the front legs are more like stabilization poles, if this makes any sense. You do not necessarily need the park out for the bowing or for a compliment or for kneeling. But in my opinion, and there are many ways to teach your horse this, um, it's just easier, it's more helpful for your horse and it really is a fun trick to ask, well, fun exercise to ask. If you are thinking about doing this exercise and you want to teach this to your horse, what I would recommend is first teach your horse some basic exercises, some basic tricks that can help you reach the goal of teaching your horse to park out uh, sooner. So the best thing I feel like you can teach your horse before asking or trying to park out is lifting the front legs on cue. So when you would touch the front legs with a whip or with your hands, whatever you feel comfortable with, you want your horse to lift the front feet. It doesn't have to be a jambette, a very big movement. It just needs to be a reaction. When you start working towards the park out, what I always like to do is I like to touch the front legs whilst the back legs are standing still because touching the front legs really pinpoints where your horse needs to move. Keeping the hind legs in place, I usually use a pole on the ground or something that can be a visual boundary so you can see how far your horse can move before it steps over the pole and that means you have to start over. So what I also do is I have a hand full of treats and I like to stretch the top line of the horse where you, instead of standing regularly, you get a very stretched out horse, even though there's not even a sign of the park out yet. It's already changing the posture of your horse before you start. I like to squat down and sit next to my horse, so I do not sit in front of my horse. I always sit next to my horse's shoulder or next to my horse's head, because if they decide to jump over the pole, you will be underneath your horse and that's not a recommendation. Don't do that. The reason I use a whip for this exercise is really just because I, it helps me keep my distance with the front legs, with my horse in general. Um, and I just prefer it because to me it's way safer. Can you do it without a whip? Absolutely. Do I recommend it? No. Maybe with like a tiny miniature horse? Yeah, you, you can, I mean, yeah, sure. But with a bigger horse that is not afraid of the whip and you can easily just work with the whip, do it. Because it's safer for you and it can be more clear to your horse. Because to me, my horses always know that when I hold a whip, it's playtime. And when I point to the legs with just my hands, nothing really happens because I want to keep it very clear when or when not to play. Okay, so let's get started. Here you can see that I am using a pole on the ground to give myself and Veda a visual boundary because your goal is to keep the hind legs behind the pole or the hind legs in place and you want to make the front legs step forward. And I, th I think the best way to do it is to teach your horse to respond to the touching of the front leg first. As you can see here, I am using my whip just to keep more distance and um, 
so that she knows that when I am holding a whip, it's trick time and not when I'm using my hands all the time. Keep it safe. And what I'm doing now is positioning her straight above the pole. And here you can see that I am touching left, right, left, right on the front legs. And I focus on the leg that is back the most. So now, yeah, it's the one without the white feet. And in my hands, I have a few treats. And every time she would step forward with one front leg, I would give her a treat, but I would keep asking uh, the exercise. So the treat is just like a split second, but we keep going forward, like going forward with the exercise. So now I am doing it again. My focus is on the hind legs and the front feet. So now you can see her hind legs are pretty much next to each other. And her front feet are searching. I keep asking until I feel like she is in a good position. And as you can see, she's licking my hands. She is stretching her neck because I am literally stretching her neck with some food. And stretching of the neck helps to stretch the upper line of your horse. So you already have a different position than what you would have if your horse is just standing still. So now I keep asking her front feet until they are next to each other to keep good balance. As you can see, front and back feet are very nicely uh, positioned next to each other. And of course, I give her some treats. It's only a very little amount every time because I don't want her to get fat. And here you can see it from up close. She's not biting, she's just licking. She knows she has to follow the hand. And because she is leaning into the shoulder, um, it's easier for her to step forward because the weight is already going forward. So. The extension of the upper line, her back, her neck, everything, asking forward is already developing some kind of a park out. The only thing I am doing is asking left, right, left, right in the front feet until I get the desired position. Here I'm doing it again. I'm tapping the one that is mostly back. And I have my whip on the back side of the legs because in my mind I feel like I can push the legs forward, which is obviously not really possible, but I think this is just a mental thing that helps me. So now I can see that Rede is uh, very stretched. For me, it's way more than enough. You can also overstretch your horse. And here I decided we didn't need a pole anymore. So I would do the exact same thing, just without the visual boundary. And you can see that for Rede as well, she steps uh, with her back legs a little bit more, but I just have to visualize this myself to be able to guide her properly. This is really nice. This is really nice.